Hello guys, welcome again on We Migrants Podcast. I'm CD Khan, your friend, as always. And um, yeah, I have two guests here today and then they're welcome for the tea. I mean, I don't know how is it Thai Thai? What do you call it? <laughs> yeah, let's call it Chai Thai. Thank you for inviting us. You're welcome. Toast. Chai time. Thai. Cheers. Time for Cheers. Chai. Toast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, yeah, like I said, I'm CD Khan, the host for the podcast and uh, this is our first episode so we call it Tai Tai and then um, they will introduce themselves um, auf jeden Fall and our podcast discussion wird auf jeden Fall in Deutsch und auf English is that okay for you? Heute Deutsch und Englisch? Yeah. For me it's totally fine yeah. I don't know what you have planned for this podcast but for today I think German and English we can mix Boot. We can, yeah. Use boot. Yeah. Good. So normally I you, you, I love to speak English, but I think um, some of our followers would love to hear German too. I mean, German country. So of course <laughs> that would be also interesting. People get to know and understand what we're talking about. So, ihr Lieben, herzlich willkommen in unserer ersten Podcast Diskussion. Tai Tai heißt das. Und Willkommen. Yeah. You're going to call it Chai Tai? Tai yeah, Tai. Amazing title. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this Chai was time. your idea? Yeah. I don't know. I think it just <laughs> That was a good idea, I guess. <laughs> but didn't you say there was another podcast called this way? Um, it's called Chai Society, but I don't oh. know any podcast called Chai Time, so why not? Chai I think time. it's yeah. a good I like yeah, it. Yeah, it's good. a really good title. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah, good. We're just having tea together, getting to know each other. Relaxed talking. So, first of all, who are you? Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> Uh, shall I speak to you or speak? You can speak to me. Okay. Yeah. Um, hello, I'm Hannah, Hannah Dening. And yeah, I'm 26 years old, living in Bremen right now. But um, actually, I was, because right now we are in Oldenburg, and I also lived in Oldenburg for quite some time, I think for five years. I was uh, going to university here, studying pedagogic, and um, there was like my focus was on the topic migration. And I had a great time here. I um, yeah got to know UCD in uh, in the organization um, United Against Racism. And today, since I think two years now, I'm living in Bremen and working for an organization called Fluchtraum. And I'm very happy to be here today. It's a pleasure to have you here, Hannah. <laughs> nice. Um, so we have another person to be invited. Hannah is here. So we have another guy from. Nowhere. You can tell us where you're from. <laughs> I'm from, from planet Earth. Planet Earth. And I've been to many places on planet Earth. For example, Brazil, Australia, many other countries. And yeah, I got to know a lot of people from different cultures. And learned a lot. And also in Oldenburg, there's a lot of people from other cultures like you. Yeah, yeah. And I worked with people from different countries, and yeah, I think that's why I'm here. That's probably how it it's came gonna together. go. So yeah. Now, yeah, good. So, guys, um, I think now we're gonna start the podcast like we're gonna get to know each other, we're gonna get into a topic, uh, because this is the first episode. We don't want to bring a team directly, so um, get into each other. We're gonna bring personal questions. You can ask me questions, I can ask you questions. We can get into topic, we can discuss it very finely. We have different opinions. It's very egal, what's wichtig is that jeder. I'm kind of nervous. Like, <laughs> where is this going it. to go? Because we have no plan. Like, we're, good. This like, is why I, I love, I love, I love it without plan. Because Me if you plan, then people would be like preparing to put on words, write down. At the end, the topic would be a little bit boring. But if you come up, you know, discussion, that like, people will answer question directly from their heart. Like, you know, yeah. it's gonna be like. You know, straightforward, really like you know. Idea, yeah. So this is why I don't like to prepare and tell people, okay, this is the topic we're going to do or this is what we're going to do. I make sure that we have it, you know, on the table and we are all prepared for it. So, cheers to that. Tai Tai. Cheers. Tai Tai. So let's good. Talk. So let's talk. So um, I, I'm going to ask you guys a question. You can answer it. Or maybe I will ask Hannah. Hannah will ask you. You can ask me. So this is we're going to start. So you can ask me anything else, like what you think, maybe what you think is interested. Sorry, for you. I didn't quite get it. You're I will have a correction. I will have, it's a free correction. A correction. I will have a Hannah and Frage stellen. Okay. And Hannah will have a Fall this Frage stellen. Okay. And you can me auch Frage stellen. Okay. Das, is that okay? Yeah, okay. Do you know what I mean? Very good. Let's, let's um, see where it goes. It goes, genau. So my correction will be, Hannah, um, you said you're 26 years old. Mm-hmm. 
what is the most I mean, you know, we are living in a society today where people would misunderstand you, you know? Mm -hmm. So what <laughs> what do people misunderstand about you? Oh, that's a deep question for the start. So, uh, so um I think first of all many people who don't know me mm -hmm. will first see me of course as a i would say young person mm -hmm. woman and when they ask me what am i doing with the first question is what are you working yeah. or maybe what are you studying or maybe what are you doing i will say i'm a social worker yeah. so many people will think now okay social worker she is like this 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 they so have like an idea a they have of a they social projected worker. onto you. To you and i wouldn't say it's a misunderstanding but I sometimes read in people's mind, okay, now they have a picture of me, me. you know, social work, always empathic, uh, maybe um, not, um, I don't know. Uh, like a defined thing they think of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, which means that maybe I have many other interests, yeah. which, had not, which has nothing to do with really my work. social work. Maybe I'm like a... Maybe I've, one day you're a social worker, the next day you're a dancer. Yeah. And Who I'm knows? dancing. Guess what? I'm <laughs> Me dancing. Too. I love dancing. <laughs> yeah, so maybe. Um, I love many things. Yeah, and maybe. Yeah. Um, of course, there are some moments where I love to show, hey, I'm a social worker, I'm do doing this yeah. at work. But sometimes I also want to talk about maybe my passion for dance. Mm -hmm. Or maybe yeah. my passion for, let's say, nature. Or maybe my passion for. Um, hanging out with my friends, mm -hmm. you know, having good conversation with friends, mm -hmm. or yeah. going to cultural events, or something like this. I love to go to concerts or theater, something like this. So I don't like this focus in Germany to always talk about work. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is the first question: What are you working? working for? So what, do you, what do you study? Yeah, because and, this is something that I also yeah, learned yeah. that you 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 start to get to know people. The first day you met new people, like I was invited one time uh, in a club. Uh, no, not a club, uh, a birthday party. Mm -hmm. So when I met them, these people... VG party? VG party. VG party. Mm -hmm. So everybody wants to know each other. Hey, mm -hmm. Mr. CD, blah, mm -hmm. blah. Oh, what do you study? It's the, like the first Thank two you. questions they're going to ask. They want to know, what do you study? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I feel like, wow. Like, this is why many people are studying, even though they don't need to study. You know, yeah. people will do study just because they just want to take this out of their mind. Like, yeah, yeah it's been, I'm in the group. They all should have to study. So I, I can I, I can at least understand what you mean here. Yeah. And yeah, this is maybe something um, I feel like misunderstood Stood. because people have this yeah image of me as a social worker, even if I have many more things to tell and show, but this is not what I want for me. And yeah. This is something that they mis misunderstood about you most. Mm -hmm. Amazing. But I'm not asking you because I'm not gonna ask you this question. I'm gonna ask you another question. But what, what would you say in your own, in your own side as you, what do what did people misunderstand about you most? I think when people approach each other, they often only see the body, or like the but the image, the skin color, mm -hmm. the image, like only what they see with their with their eyes. Mm -hmm. But there's so much more to every body. person, mm -hmm. to every human. Mm -hmm. Like every human has their own character, their own culture, their own way of growing up, their own background. And I think it's important to kind of see that in people. And yeah, because like the surface obviously is also important. Mm -hmm. Like what I wear mm -hmm. or how I present how myself yeah. is important Tent. in this world, of course. Mm -hmm. But then there's so much behind that, which is also very important to acknowledge. And this is why they say don't join the book by the cover. That's it, yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> read the book. You don't even start to read the book, but you read the, I mean, the title, or you look at the book, and you want to judge everything that's inside. Then you're going to be totally yeah. wrong about everything. Yeah. yeah, but, yeah, sometimes you don't have to read the, a whole book to understand a person or something, but you just, yeah, it's, it's a different way of seeing people. People, I, think, yeah. I understand. Amazing. Good. Um, Hannah, what would you like to ask Paul, maybe? If you have anything that you think it's important to ask us. It's not only Paul. Paul is, we're going to go there. I'm going to share my opinion about it. Hmm, okay. Since we talked about um, maybe it's a little bit um, too easy to always ask, mm -hmm. hey, what are you doing? What are you working? Maybe my question is, what is your passion? Do you have a passion? Do you have something you really love to 
do you live for or you love to do or you love to show to the world? Is there anything? Yeah. I already told you. <laughs> I love to dance. I really love to dance. I love singing. I love singing and dancing. I love good food. I love meeting new people. I love relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> I like to drink tea. Like good hot tea is good. Yeah. So more than one passion even. Yeah. <laughs> I mean passion is like I guess what your heart wants, mm -hmm. like your urge, your inner like your need to do something. Like when you really feel yourself you know what you need, what you want to do. It's like intuition. Mm. And that's like when I'm really in my in my drive or in my mm. thing then I love to dance and sing and just live life I guess something that gives you joy if you do it yeah joy and mm. happiness yeah, yes, yeah. The moment you, I, I that's that depends on the moment Mind. like now I wouldn't dance because <laughs> now we are having a podcast but you, so. are, you are meeting new people oh yeah that's yeah, also we can passion. Dance some other time. <laughs> yeah, but you have different passion, which means you, it's not only dancing and meeting new people. It's your passion. Right now, I guess that you are happy meeting new people and you discuss it. It's just that's part of it. Yeah, I can feel my body is telling Say me it. it wants to move, <laughs> but I'm controlling <laughs> yes. myself in this society. Then you're a dancer, I guess. That's oh what my I god! Did, like twelve uh, years in school, like <laughs> sitting there controlling myself. Oh, when can I dance? Oh uh, god. Oh my god. Kind of like you know what I mean. Yeah. yeah this is a bis big mistake uh, of our school system. I think that we have to sit the whole day, even if some people they need to move, you know. Yeah. And they, I don't know, you can't always yeah. sit and learn. Yeah. How can you learn things when your body is like yeah. always relaxed and I don't know. You need some movement in between. Yeah. Also to, I mean, learning is important, of course. Like in a society, we need to learn stuff. Yeah. To, like basics like a language or something but I, then like what i learned is like going for a walk in between can already that can help to mm -hmm. like process the things and yeah. i get it yeah, so do you have any question that you raised <laughs> for me maybe a before question? i start yeah and then we have our lunch we move on maybe which tea do you like <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's not there. Frischte tea. Frischte I tea. like anything that smacked. Also, alles was smacked. With taste. Just yeah. good taste. Yeah. yeah. So, also, Swast tea, for me, is so strong. I yeah. drink it always if I have, like, maybe I need something strong yeah. or, or with milk. But it also depends on the moment. I moment, guess. Yeah. yeah. But I love tasty things. Something that tastes a lot. I love it. You like to try things, yeah. probably. Mm. Like, that's what what I think of you. I think you are a very open-minded person who likes to try things. And yeah, oh, that's thanks. why I got to know you. Yeah. That's also a picture I have in my head about him. I'm projecting it onto <laughs> him. But I think I think it's true. But we talk about um you know the cultural differences. You said you traveled. Yeah. Hannah studied I mean let's say social work. And I guess you have been working with different people, different cultures. And also, man arbeitet mit verschiedenen Leuten, verschiedenen Kultur quasi. So now, if you're gonna portray, you travel a lot, you know, we have seen cultures in every country have their own culture. Mm -hmm. So now we're in Germany, we listen in Deutschland. Yeah. If you would have changed something that you thought is not negative, but you would have loved to see it here in the country, you know, like what you see when you travel to other countries or the cultures you learn from other countries, what would it be I mean, for you, both of you? For both of us? Yeah, for us all. What we learn from other cultures. Cultures that you thought like it's really positive and you like it and it could it would play an impact in people's life here. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. It's not working here, so and let's play an impact <laughs> in some people's life here. Let's go. Let's speak to wisdom here. Yeah, let's let's go. So um, the first thing that came into my mind was when I was 15, pretty young, pretty lost, like didn't know what where to my do, place where to is go. in mm. the world, like didn't know myself really. Um, I got the opportunity, thank God, to go to Brazil uh, for a school exchange. 
So I got into this school exchange thing mm -hmm. with the organization, and then there were different cultures presenting themselves yeah. who were here in Germany. Mm -hmm. And the Brazilians on the stage were like dancing, having fun, having a good time, and just pretty harmonic, mm. you know, pretty good vibes. Yeah. So I thought, I want to go to Brazil. It's like, <laughs> fucking awesome that in this world you can just say, I want to go, go there. there. You go. So I went there and I, I spent there seven months and it was a pretty hard time. I lived in the middle of a favela in Fortaleza. Yeah. It's a pretty big city on the coast of Brazil. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I was living in a golden cage, mm -hmm. I could say. Mm -hmm. Like my host parents had a lot of money, mm -hmm. like good money. Mm -hmm. They had a bakery, mm -hmm. baking bread for people every day, mm -hmm. like doing a really good job. So they really deserved what they had, mm -hmm. in my opinion, because they built it on a true, like on a good thing. Mm -hmm. You know, some people earn money with uh, bullshitting people. Mm -hmm. That's not true money yeah. you know what I mean yeah so I think their golden cage was built on truth yeah. but it was still a golden cage okay. so I was there the pool and a big fence around because it's dangerous yeah. and people get jealous yeah so, so they cover the building so for, for, for such a head, eh? that's it exactly <clears throat> but there I could like really experience the difference between rich and poor, poor. and I we couldn't go on the streets usually like if we go by bus to the training or something, you couldn't take anything, like no phone. Mm -hmm. uh, my host brother got his shoes robbed one time. They took his, sh his training <laughs> shoes because <laughs> they like have it. nothing. So it's obvious they need shoes. So if people need something, of course they mm -hmm. tend to be criminal. Yeah. And stuff. It's, like, it's a normal reaction. So yeah, that was one experience I can tell you. How are you? Hmm. I think there are many things I could say now, but one of the things I really have in mind, I think I already told you one time, mm. is um, um, I feel like in Germany many people uh, live um, a lot on their own. I mean, some people are single, okay, some people have families, but still um, I don't see this big culture of inviting a <laughs> friend. I mean, like, of course, sometimes inviting one friend or two but like really inviting let's say neighbors or like the big family not just the parents mm -hmm. and also bring people together mm -hmm. even from different places you know yeah. maybe family plus neighbors yeah. plus a friend yeah and i i um, can't even say i saw this in one country i think I, I there are many countries who are really living this kind of hostility i think yeah. this is the english word yeah. i guess mm -hmm. in german it's gastfreundschaft mm -hmm. yeah. Host, how is that word? hostility hostility i think, hostility. I think, I think it's it? the word mm -hmm. and uh, even like Sounds i don't know like hospitality Hospitality, you can also put hospitality. It's gastronomy, yeah. right? <laughs> I mean, it has had also something to do with, you know, sharing. Yeah, hospitality, hospitality is also correct. Yeah. It's also correct. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, let's, I don't know, talk about south of Italy. Even there, I experienced like... Maybe let's, because I love that idea mm -hmm. of bringing people together and making, for example, a party or bring people together in a different way. Mm. Yeah, it's a good idea. I, I mean to do this of course it's just that I feel like even if some I don't want to talk about all Germans because this is stereotyping mm -hmm. but I mean the things I learned about I me growing up in Germany also my friends or like many people I know in Germany I don't know many Germans who are inviting a bunch of people mm -hmm. sharing yeah. food sharing um, yeah. drinks um, inviting for True. maybe the whole Sunday and I love this openness. Also, mm -hmm. it's, it, I think it's also a part of spontaneous to be spontaneous yeah. because yeah. maybe if you are planning for just five people, but then your neighbor is also coming yeah. and your sister is yeah. bringing a friend, then you need to be spontaneous. You know, yeah. also being like, okay, chilled, hey, no problem. Of course, I have the drink. Of course, I have the food. So trust. I really trust, you know, and also be chilled, like and enjoy and this fun. company. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing is. I don't want to say that uh, many Germans do not want this or, or cannot do it. It's just like part of the socialization um, yeah. of some Germans. I can't talk about all Germans, but I experienced that it's not a big thing to to celebrate these, um, yeah, 
his visitors and um, time with a bunch of people. Um, Inviting people. And it, the main yeah, is, I just I want... Love, I see, I love to see this, really, because always, um, just to finish what I want to say, when I was maybe somewhere else where I experienced that, I got invitation by random people. I, yeah. People I don't even know. No. Some people I even met on the street. Mm. Like I, I just remember one time in Palestine where um, like really a family was just meeting us on the street and directly inviting us. This would never happen to me in Germany. Mm. And I was like very thankful and very impressed by these openness. Coaches. And yeah, and this uh, I would say I, will, I, I miss in, the, um, in Germany. Yeah. Well, the Germany I know that um, to be happy about the company of a, of family friends and neighbors people. whatever this connection and I sharing think, food mm, yeah. i think what you were saying to add on it this is something that i think it's also something that lacks because uh when we say gesellschaft we remain that we live in together so society mm -hmm. society contain people contain also a lot of things you know mm -hmm. you're gonna live there as like like you are connected because like you should remember this, I'm living here, but I'm not alone because I'm not thinking about me alone. I'm thinking about my neighbors because what happens to me, my neighbors will be the first aid. Mm. So which means I have to be good to my neighbors. Yes. I have to be open-minded. Yeah. I have to be a very good neighbor, right? Yeah. So, so this open-minded, like not, not, there are a lot of people right now in Germany are very open-minded. They are really, they live they, with this um, old uh, cultural uh, mindset still. Old you know? yeah. yeah, and I love that. But what, what you're saying, Anna, and I think the same thing that I would say, that is something that I have missed. Because when I was in my country, example, I'll take example of my country, because we're talking about culture. This is why I said, what are the cultures you see in other places that you would love to see here in Germany? Mm -hmm. uh, because and it could play impact. Example, in my country, if we are eating food, like, uh, um, uh, let's say, lunch, okay? As keep going, there's a lot of people who are not rich. They're poor, or some of them are in the middle class. But they are rich in heart. Mm -hmm. Warum? Why are they rich in heart? Because what they have, they share. Okay? Sure. They will be eating. Like now, if we are drinking or we're drinking something, we buy um, a pizza. We're eating this pizza that we saw somebody passing away. We don't know this person, but the person look at us and look at the food. He said, hey, come, come, hey, come and join. Eat. Yeah. This. This is true. This is something like you tell, you invite them, and if they come, they can join and eat with you. Yeah. Okay, so you share this small thing, you know. Yeah. So this is something that I think is positive in every society. Yeah. It's very positive. Sharing. You have sharing. sharing. So if you have something like you have a name in ceremony mm -hmm. or you have a gebustag, mm -hmm. everybody will like to come and also share with you yeah. your joy. Yeah. If you have a sadness, everybody will come and join mm -hmm. with you, and they share this sadness with you, mm -hmm. not you alone. But if you want to be Germany, many people would like to stay alone, like distance, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. I get it. Not everybody, is, they, like you said, trust mm -hmm. is a problem. Yeah. Yeah. There's no trust and there's like, I don't want to associate myself with this, with that, mm -hmm. with that. So everybody is like, I'm so bloody, you know? This is from here, this is status, he's from he's a migrant, mm -hmm. he's from yeah. Brazil, he's from Germany, he's from Gambia. And I think some sort of schubladen are also important because when you have a lot of papers, and you don't want to mix it all up, you want to like do something with it, then you should put it in a certain order. That makes sense. For orientation. For orientation. Ah, yeah. That's that's the point. That that that's that's yeah. one we collect. If you wanna put human beings in Psuplade, you bring a difference. <laughs> that's true. If you bring difference, then you have a problem. Then there's no trust. There's no trust. There's no because the moment you say yeah, it, the Schubladen should be the same or maybe the Schubladen should fit to the people. Like everybody needs a different Schubladen. Why do you need different? Why do you need Schubladen for human beings? What I'm thinking about is, for example, in an apartment, mm. every human being needs a place to live. Yeah. Mm. Okay. I get the concept. If you live in a cold place, you need a warm place to yeah. live. If yeah. you live in a warm place, you maybe need a cold place to, to live. live. If you live in the middle, you maybe need a middle place to live. So. Everybody needs, in that sense, a schublade to live in. You know what I mean? So, and yeah, it depends on the person. Some people have more fear. They maybe need more space for themselves. Mm -hmm. Others are very free. They need like a big house with the opportunity to make a podcast, to record music. Mm -hmm. It's different. Mm -hmm. Everybody mm -hmm. needs something different. Mm -hmm. And I think the thing is the balance. Like, 
sharing and also knowing that nothing is forever nothing mm -hmm. like we're going to pass away one day mm -hmm. everything here we don't own this mm -hmm. that's such a big illusion which i also sometimes have mm -hmm. sometimes i believe my laptop oh i'm so um yeah i think i, I i'm kind of confused of your examples mm -hmm. but at the same time anyway what i'm talking about the supply this is here is that <clears throat> we are born different as human beings yeah we're all born different but we are human beings when we say yeah. human beings then human being itself makes us human beings like yeah. we yeah. are broadly strong we are so, one in a sense same you know yeah example if i you are rich i'm poor and i'm in the middle i bring a food here i want to eat with you will you like to make a soup ladder to make a difference said no i'm rich no Good. So that's the concept I want to talk to you. Mm -hmm. The issue is, the moment you, because some people are rich, they will want to have, you say it like, if you want to have this place, they could say, I don't want to eat with all of you, I want to have it my own plate. Example. Then, I mean, someone could say that, because he wants to eat himself, he don't want to eat with I think the important group. is, when you have a lot, then you should also share a lot. And that's probably the... Um, when it makes sense to have a lot like it only makes sense to have a lot if you also know how to share it mm -hmm. and you also share it if you don't have a lot you don't, you don't share well if you have a bicycle and your tire is flat if you don't have enough air in your tire you can't take anyone with you you know you yeah. first have to make your tire good like really perfect so you can take someone with you if not this bicycle you give an example. If you have that bicycle, mm -hmm. that bicycle can take you a lot because your tire is not much. Yeah. But you have seen somebody who is, let's say, a medical, need a medical support. Mm. Can you help? Me, personally. The person is lying down. He needs immediately medical support. Of course. Like, and you can share. My best. You can share. Yeah. Mm. Now and no matter what, if this person is a man or a woman, woman, handicapped or not, I think this is the thing with the Schublade. I think what you said, or also you, in some reasons is important to orientate with this difference. For example, I don't know, me as a woman, sometimes I feel very um, insecure when I am at night at a dark place and they yeah. are just men. And of course I make the difference. I don't say, oh yeah, those are just human. No, yeah. for me, these are men. Mm -hmm. I make a difference. I'm a woman, I'm a man, and I feel shy or like you know, that's about. also this is why sometimes differences to see difference help us to orientate so, but i think what you mean is in this very human uh, like situations like sharing food saying hello to someone inviting someone to your place yeah. very human you yeah. know in in let's say let's call it in safe places where yeah. you don't feel that i don't know something will happen mm -hmm. why we can't be more open-minded and to um like trying to reduce this Schubladen denken in German, mm. or like this thinking of okay, mm. he's different, he's from this country, I'm from this country, he's this gender, or she's this gender. In, in I think in many situations, we should more think about hey, what are the topics we can share, what are the food we can share, and yeah. what are also the similarities we have, you know? What can I share with them? The thing is, I think we're the same thing, that's why, because that, 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 that makes us different, and being different makes us. Human being, that's what, I, that's what I'm trying to say here. Because I like this. You see, some people will have this in their mindset. The moment you have this supply mindset in your mind, then you have a, a problem to trust. You know? Why? Because the moment you came, because you should know that we are basically different from our status. You know? Anywhere you go, you got, like in Brazil, like you said, where, where you are living, you know? You can see their status is totally different. They are Brazilians, but they are like, in a highlight yeah, okay so you you will see that but still you said they share they have but they make breads and give it to people you said exactly like they have their base yeah from where they go to work yeah in a safe and they, manner yeah and, and they sell they it they bake bread for everybody and they sell it or they, they give it just free i don't know like i haven't been in the bakery often okay but um probably sometimes they give away yeah i mean that's that's a good example that's a good example, like I said, me when I, when I was um, young, I was um, asked to respect everybody. 